In a world of cartoons, few characters are as unique as Cat Dog. The show was created by Peter Hannon and first aired on Nickelodeon in 1998. Cat Dog is about two brothers who are connected to one another, and as the name suggests, one side is a cat and the other side is a dog. Cat is a smart and careful individual who dreams of one day of having a fancy life, while Dog is silly, likes to go on adventures, and is very impulsive. Together they live in a town called Nearburg, where they have to deal with bullies like the greasers, grumpy townsfolks, and other weird situations, all while trying to get along with one another. Their story is a funny look at being siblings, sticking together, and the crazy things that happen when you're literally stuck with someone forever. Throughout the series, there was always a mystery about where Cat Dog came from. The show hinted that it had other family members, like their uncle Horse Duck was briefly mentioned. There was even an episode about a family reunion, but we never got to see anybody's face in the episode. So today we're going to take a look at a TV special that sort of answers these questions in the episode Cat Dog and the Great Mystery. It's parents there in their bird, but Cat and Dog are left out because they don't have any parents. So instead, they watch the parents have fun with their kids at near bird park from behind a fence uh, look how much fun they're having cat playing leap parent pin the child on the parent hot potato parent Dawg says, isn't Parents Day magical? And starts to remember all the good times they had with their mom and dad. Cat says he only remembers them being on their own for a long time. Dawg tells him that today is the day they're finally going to see their parents again. But Cat says they'll never find them. Oh, parents! Where's our parents? So good to have parents. Isn't Parents Day magical? Yeah. Now if we could only make it disappear. Remember how we used to curl up on mom's nose and dad would sing us to sleep? rock a bye cat dog on mommy's nose. <laughs> With two tiny heads and four sets of toes. <laughs> the only thing I remember is that we're on our own and we always have been. This is the day, cat. The day we finally reunite with our wrong, lost parents. <laughs> Dog, they're not long lost. They're long gone. Attention, cat dog's parents. Hello, cat four. Please report the cat dog. I'm announcing, paging mom and dad. We're not going anywhere. We'll be here till further notice. Come get us. Why do you embarrass us like this every year? Don't you get it? Our parents aren't coming. Not today. Not tomorrow. What about the day after tomorrow? Not ever. I'm not having fun. Has anyone seen my parrots? After they get home, Dog tells Cat not to be sad because Parents Day happens every year. Dog then plays some keys on the piano, revealing his parents' theory room where he keeps some balloons from the Parents Day celebration. Dog told Cat that their parents had tried to find them but faced many dangers along the way. However, Cat said that their parents don't care about them anymore. <laughs> don't be disappointed, Cat. There's always next year. <laughs> This room. Oh, I feel a lot of love in my parents' theory room. <laughs> love! 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 Mm -hmm. Love? <laughs> if our parents love us so much, why haven't they tried to find us? Ah, but Cat, they are trying to find us. <laughs> but they're being stopped by mysterious forces beyond their control. <laughs> For example, theory number 47. Mom and Dad were looking for us at the North Pole and got frozen in an icy iceberg. Oh, theory number 119. Mom and Dad are stranded on a deserted island inhabited by rabid weasels. <laughs> or theory number 78. Mom and Dad are trapped in a revolving door. But, Doc, 
Huh? You're forgetting theory numero uno! I am? What is theory number uno? Our parents haven't found us yet because... They're not looking for us! Then we should be looking for them! We are not gonna waste our time looking for parents who obviously don't care about us, and that's final! Don't worry, Mom and Dad. I haven't lost hope. Later that night, Cat secretly goes into a hidden room under their bed where he keeps his blanket and pacifier, the only thing he has from their parents. Cat quietly says to himself that maybe their parents are looking for them, then tells himself that it's just his imagination, and then goes back to sleep. <sighs> well, who knows? Maybe they are out there looking for us. Who am I trying to kid? The next morning, there's a news bulletin saying that old Up and Chuck is due to erupt in the next 24 hours. Winslow says the last time old Up and Chuck erupted was when Cat Dog came to Nearburg. And then there's a flashback of the day Winslow met Cat Dog for the first time. This is Randolph, your roving reporter, coming to you live from the far regions of Yonderland, where the giant whirly wind geyser, old Up and Chuck, is due to erupt within the next 24 hours. Ooh, a sneak preview! And I love it! And his dad loves it, too. She's Louise. The last time Old Up and Chuck Blue was around the same time you two showed up. Ah, seems like yesterday. <laughs> hey, nice shoes, funny <laughs> boy. <laughs> uh, too easy. I need a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Cat thinks about it and assumes that him and Dog came from Yonderland, a giant place where old Uppachuk is located. As soon as Cat mentions it, Dog asks, are they going there to find their parents? And Cat agrees to go for Dog's sake. While they're gone, Winslow is enjoying having a house to himself. That's when the greasers arrive, but Winslow tells them that Cat Dog is at home because they went to go look for their parents. It's the best day of my life. Why didn't you tell us this before? You never ask me. <laughs> well, if that's true, then we must come from Yonderland, which means her parents might be parents. Uh, don't even think about it, dog. Think about what? We're not going. Go where? Don't say it, dog. Say what? Don't say we're going to Yonderland to look for our parents. <gasps> we're going to Yonderland to look for our parents. Oh, all right, all right, all right. We'll go. But I'm only doing this for you. Now, stop hounding me. <laughs> oh, you diggity! Cat, are we there yet? Are we there? Are we there yet? Now, are we there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, dog, we're there. We are so there. La, 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 no cat dog in the house. Who run here is my favorite mouse. Me, got the place all to myself. La, la, la. Hey, cat dog, we got a special delivery thrashing for you. Poundage, too. Hi. <laughs> Time we should. Eh, if you're looking for cat dog, they ain't here. <laughs> They're looking for the parents in Yonderland. <laughs> uh, well, if we find cat dog, we can pound them and their lousy parents. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind meeting dog's parents. So, 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 so I can pound them too. 
Dog is annoying Cat by using sock puppets to pretend that they're their parents. Later, Dog says he needs to use the bathroom, so they stop at a rest area. This is where they see aliens returning everyone they abducted, but then they get abducted too. Cat tries hard to open the door to the spaceship, but it doesn't work. Suddenly, aliens appear in the hallway, and Cat Dog hides in a small hole. They see shadows that look like their parents and rush down the hallway. Cat Dog runs into the control room and blasts off into space, but Dog being silly messes with the controls, causing the spaceship to spin out of control. The scared aliens run into the escape pod while dragging Winslow along with them. Cat Dog gets shot back to Earth and crashes upside down in front of the greasers. They barely escape and end up in a frozen lake where they meet Bessie the lake monster who's about to eat them. <laughs> You're right, Tim. All is lost. We must abandon ship. Uh, to the escape pod! Hey, Cat. Looks like your parent search is having a few ups and downs. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be safe with us. Are you nuts? After being swallowed, Cat comes up with a plan to escape by making a hairball. They manage to get out, but as they escape, the greaser tries to chase them, and they end up getting eaten by the monster instead. Cat, how are we gonna get out of here? Hairball! No thanks, I had one for breakfast. No, no, no! We can make a giant hairball, get inside, and Bessie will hack us out to freedom! <laughs> Start shedding! <laughs> Planet, uh, planet. 
Inside. Let us pursue them with vigor! Reminds me how Mom used to wrap us up in hairballs and throw us in the air! Enough with your silly memories! How are we gonna land this thing? Cat Dog lands on a sharp rock. Immediately, Dog starts to sniff around, hoping to find signs of their parent. But Cat is getting fed up with Dog and tells him they need to go straight to Yonderland. They eventually arrive at a town called Yokelberg, where they're introduced to two hillbilly clans of dogs and cats, who are celebrating 50 years of peace between them. Cat, do you see your mom and dad, Cat Dog? I see it, but I don't believe it. Well, we used to cuss and fight, but ain't no more. Ain't no more. We used to scratch and bite, but ain't no more. Ain't no more. We love to chase you all about. We lift you from your eyeballs out. We used to cuss and fight, but ain't no more. Ain't no more. We used to hate that guts, but ain't no more. Ain't no more. We used to whoop dog butts, but ain't no more. We love to make you whine and cry. We long to see you up and die. We used to cuss and fight, but ain't no more. Ain't no more. Ain't no more. Ain't no more. Cat dog thinks the older male dog and the older female cat are their parents, but it turns out they actually lose parents. Well, thank you, friends and neighbors. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you. Woo! Oh, ma! Pa! Sweet! Over here, it's us! Look! Son, it's you! You finally come back! Yes, Dad, it's me! I found you! Yeah. See, dog, I told you we'd find them, and you doubted me, dog. Uh, no, I didn't. But I never gave up hope like you did. Cat, I never... Uh... Daddy, give y'all's long lost boy a big old hug. Oh, Lube, you're back. My baby's come back, my son, my child, my boy, my chip off the old block. Uh, what are you trying to say, mister? I'm your daddy, and you my little boy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this here's my boy, Lube. <laughs> Dog, tell me he didn't run past us. He ran past us. Tell me he's not hugging Lube. He's hugging Lube! But I was so sure it was them. Does that mean Lube is our brother? During the celebration, Cat drinks some moonshine and accidentally burps in front of the older dog's daughter. Unfortunately for Cat and Yokelberg, burping in the lady's face means she wants to marry her. But Cat refused to marry her. Starts a feud between the cats and dogs again. That's the one paw. Ham. He burped right up in my little old butt. Hang on a minute. Did you just burp in my pretty little girl's face, boy? Well, of course I didn't. That's your dad. I even smelled it. Dog. <laughs> well, hot dog. Well, you know what that means. Well, uh, actually, I'm unfamiliar with your quaint little customs. In these here parts, darling, if y'all burp in somebody's face, that means you got marriage on your mind. Mm. <laughs> oh, gee, cat. I didn't know y'all wanted to get married. I sure do wish our parents was here. <laughs> Oh, you 
yapping fleabag. I don't want to get married, especially to some lousy dog. <laughs> hey, cat. I'm a lousy dog. Exactly. And that's why I'm in this mess. Well, ain't that just like a finicky, fishy, fur-licking feline? It sure is. Well, at least we clean ourselves. Here, here. Good point. Are you a saying we're dirty? We don't have to say it. We can smell it. <laughs> yeah, dogs stink. Cats are lazy. Mind you, mutt. You hairball hackers. Well, you gosh darn cat. I'm a restarting this here cue. Oh, no, you ain't, you low down, dirty dog. Cause I'm a restarting this feud. <laughs> The Catfields and the Mid Dogs are getting ready to start their war, with the Greasers watching for the Mid Dog side. Cat Dog blames one another for the trouble. The fighting goes on both sides until they run out of things to throw at each other, so they decide to fight close up. The town gets wrecked and Cat Dog falls on a log, and the Catfields and the Mid Dogs continue to blame each other for the destruction of their town. <laughs> shouldn't be fighting yourselves. It was that freak of nature cat dog what caused all this. Well, I'll be that blame if a city feller ain't right. Yeah, let's quit our quibbling and a quarreling and get to pounding us some cat dogs. Yeah, that's right. Cat dog finally reaches yonder bird. Dog begins to run around searching for their parents, but feels sad and disappointed when he can't find them. Cat gives him a lecture about how all this was pointless. Dog admits that looking for their parents was a bad idea and wishes he was more like Cat. But Cat then says he wishes he was more like Dog because Dog never gave up hope. He kept trying to find their parents. Looking for our parents was a dumb idea. Right! Let's just go home. Go home? Go home? Did you say go home? But, 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 but what about the rest of your theories? Theories, theories. My theories are stupid. Oh, don't, don't, don't say that, Dog. No. I mean, well, they, they aren't all stupid. Uh, here, like this one, for example, with the jello and the flamingo. Flamingo dancers. Okay, maybe not that one, but I'm sure there's something here. Here, let's find one. Cat, forget it. I don't want to look anymore. You mean quit? You can't quit. I'm the quitter. I know. I wish I was more like you. No, you don't. The truth is, I wish I was more like you. I, I wish I had your dogged determination to chase after something you believe in. Oh, like garbage trucks? No, dog. I'm talking about our parents. You never gave up hope that they were out there and that they do care about us. Until now. Um, well, I won't let you give up. Now, we, we may not find them today. We may not find them tomorrow. 
or the next day. Oh, what about the day after the next day? Any day, dog. It doesn't matter. The point is, someday we are going to find them. Hmm. But no matter what, we are brothers, and we'll always have each other. Cat dog are suddenly caught in a small earthquake, but it's saved by Bit Till, four-eyed monster. The monster takes them to a cave and says dog's cat's phrase. Hi, ho, diggity! Mommy! Daddy! I finally found my boys! Oh, what's for dinner? Are you insane? It's got four eyes! Well, actually, two of them are mine. <laughs> Slimy green skin! Oh, so I suppose you're too grown up now to give your old man a hug, huh? Dog hugs their dad, and Cat says, why they're not a cat dog, like them. They're explained that they're adopted, and then they begin to remember all the happy times they had together. But it all ended the day they were separated by a powerful vortex. Mom's four eyes, that slimy green skin. Wait a minute. You're our burial. But, 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 but you're a, a, and you, you're a, not a cat dog nothing gets past you does it genius we found you when you were just a little baby cat dog right out on that ledge then you're not our parents well let's see here we uh raised you fed you loved you and made you who you are today oh that sounds like parents to me cat well then where did we come from well dear we really don't know heck we don't know where your mother came from either but that doesn't matter because she's your mother and you're our boys and you always have been. Those were such happy times. Okay, uh, see, uh, I ah, forget it. <laughs> Goodbye, cat, dog on top of mommy's nose. Uh, with two tiny heads and four sets of toes out of it. <laughs> then came that horrible day. Their mother explains that they have been searching for them ever since they were separated. Then their father shows that many of Doll's theories about them looking for them were actually true. And we've been searching all over the world ah. for you boys ever since. See, Cat, I told you. But the strangest things kept happening to us. We was frozen in an Arctic glacier, marooned on an island of rabid weasels, abducted by aliens, swallowed by a giant lake monster, captured by a tribe of evil mutant wood nymphs, and we even thought we was country and western singers for a while. Oh, we used to fuss and fight, but ain't no more. Oh, we, we used, used to scratch and fight, but ain't no more. I'm gonna scratch you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, for, for the love of chub. <gasps> Daddy! Son! <laughs> you kept it. <laughs> When they all hug each other, Winslow shows up. 
and gets startled by Cat Dog's parents. Dog introduces Winslow to their parents, and then Winslow gets sad because Cat Dog won't be around anymore. Dog offers to let him stay with them, but Winslow says he can't stay because the greasers, the mid dogs, and the cat fields have come to attack them. Yeah, we got him out, Lumpet. Oh my. <laughs> like you's got nowhere to go and you're at the end of the finish cat dog's dad is ready to fight but cat tells dog to scare them off so their family can stay safe suddenly a vortex appears just like the one that separated them from all those years ago cat dog ties themselves to their parents and they escape through the vortex back to near Berg. The episode ends with Cat Dog and their parents celebrating Parents' Day and their new lives living together in their bird. Parents! Oh, we got parents! Small, slimy, big, and grimy parents! Though we might seem strange to you. We are parents through and through! I bet yours are weirdos too! <laughs> because they're parents! As the series wraps up, there were still some lingering questions, like where exactly did Cat Dog come from? We may not know the true origins of Cat Dog, but what we do know is that their parents loved them deeply and were searching for them all along. Though there were a few more episodes after this special, I honestly feel like this was the perfect conclusion to Cat Dog's story, and it would have tied everything neatly, leaving us with a comforting thought that Cat Dog will continue to live happily with their newfound family.